Pakistani, everyone. And welcome back to The, the Generation, Generation Gap. Gap. Yeah. This is the only lighthearted podcast starring two giggly girls gathering people from different generations to discuss some not so lighthearted topics. Guys, today is the first episode where we all are sitting on one table and recording and sharing the same Studio. mind. Studio. <laughs> Studio. This is my house. <laughs> but anyways, today's hello was in Belarusian. Is that how you pronounce it? Belarusian? Belarusian, yeah, <laughs> that. Okay, so anyways, once again, we have gathered here to discuss a very controversial question. Is it's adult life, life easier than teenage, teenage life? life. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, so before we get talking, let's introduce our guests. So, okay, so joining us today, we have a very knowledgeable teacher from Gen X, Miss Mahalakshmi. And an enthusiastic student from Gen Z, Vihan Dhanitu. Hi. Hey. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> okay, so guys, let's not beat around the bush. Let's just get to the point. So, what do you guys think? What is easier, adult life or teenage life? Uh, uh, in like the general answer is obviously that adult life is much harder than teenage life. So I'd say teenage life because, mm-hmm. um. In adult life, you're ba- you're uh, you have to worry about so many things. Like um, if if you're like you have to worry about f- uh, your family, your job, you have to worry about so many things. Mm-hmm. And so I believe that one's a lot harder. I'm not saying that teenage life isn't hard at all, but it definitely isn't as hard as adult life. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's the same. Same. Yeah. You both say you both think that adult life is more difficult. Yeah. What about you? Both are difficult actually. It's not like yeah. only adult life is difficult. Mm-hmm. It depends upon according to uh, if it is teenage life, they have their own problems, and mm-hmm. if it is adult life, they have their own problems. Mm-hmm. So, teenage life is very hard for the kids to get permission from their parents for exactly. each and everything. That's yeah. the first point. Correct. And the second thing, they don't have enough money themselves to whatever they wanted to do yes you don't have enough freedom yeah you don't have freedom basically Mm -hmm. so but in adult life you have all that Mm -hmm. but the thing is you have to work hard to achieve that to Mm -hmm. whatever you wanted to do you have to work hard and you have your own responsibilities in adult life Mm -hmm. so that's the difference between teenage and adult for some reason, I feel like with time the life of a teenager is just getting more difficult because my school yeah okay wait just like take the online learning thing for example like okay if if you're going online doesn't mean you bombard us with like 10 million more things that we have to stay up all night doing it i remember during our exams we barely used to sleep and that's not because okay we have to study for the exams but it's because we have 10 million assignments for the exams and there's a lot more than just school life right like for example um when you're a child no one takes you seriously yeah no one like if you call some like random company or something you want to just find out something this this like, oh, basically she's the, a kid it's she's a, a kid she doesn't know anything exactly. no, basically for teenagers now what problem they have now they don't have enough friends to share their things whatever problems they face they don't mm-hmm. have enough friends to share that's the first thing everyone uh, most of the kids you see most of the teenagers you see they don't have a uh, friend circle if you mm-hmm. have friends you can share Mm-hmm. So, social life and friends' life to manage is the main problem. With mm-hmm. that, their regular routine, the studies and everything to manage that. Now, in this generation, I'm speaking about. Mm-hmm. So, whereas the previous generation, it was totally different. Whereas for this generation, kids, for teenagers' life is hard. It's mm-hmm. not so easy. Yeah. Especially now. I remember, like, it was very recent. I had. I just, uh, I looked at my, like, I had assignments now, right? So I went on to my uh, to the website and I looked at my assignments. I had one assignment that had 108 exercises and each of those exercises could have, like, anything from 1 to, uh, like, 10 or 20 questions I'm each. Eight. He's an 8th grade, guys. <laughs> wait, wait, what assignment? 108? Who's math. My maths? Uh, no, Pearson. Okay. Oh, you guys have. Hundred and eight. That's yeah. something I did not do it from the start. From the oh point. no, yeah. I did not. Oh, yeah, that's, that's why. Yeah. No, as it like, just feel like all like positive or something. No, no, it's like um each of those exercises. So you get an assignment, and in the assignment, there's a preset amount of exercises. This was the teacher that gave us one hundred and eight exercises. All at once. All at once. 
Oh, that's, that's the teacher's so, mistake. It's that's not your really fault. No, hundred and eight. <laughs> that sounds like torture. It is. Okay, but adding adding on to what Man said, you know about the social life. FOMO is just so real right now. Everyone has the fear of missing out, and it's it's very. It just adds to all the pressure that um, a teenage student already has. Mm. Mm-hmm. What do you think? What's easier? Easier or I, more difficult? Same thing, yeah. I think both come with their difficulties. Mm-hmm. Like both have difficulties. Like when you're a adult, mm-hmm. like you're like. Like like, 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 you need to have a job to, like, get, like, mm, basic necessities, like, mm-hmm. grocery and yeah, stuff yeah. like that. You basically earn a living, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so it's, okay, of course, not denying the fact that adults have a lot of pressure, but... But I, they do have, no, it's yeah, like adults, they, they have, have to manage the family. Yeah, yeah. It's not like teenagers uh, just go to the school or college, come mm-hmm. back and do their regular routine. But adults, they have to manage, they have to handle the teenagers in their house as well as manage the house mm-hmm. also. So yeah, that hard. can be difficult, yeah. especially if you have more than one child. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. it's hard. Yeah, yeah, definitely not denying that uh, par- like adults, parents especially, have a lot of responsibility, yeah. have yeah. a lot of difficulties. But we shouldn't also like overlook how hard a teenage show's life is. Yeah. In today's day and age especially. But an advantage of being a teenager is that you don't have that much uh, like, like, okay, I, I would say this in Hindi, but then like, basically, you know, you don't have to think too much about what other people think because you're a child, you can do anything. But adults, again, at least I've seen this in my family that, you know, oh, what will they say? What will yeah, they say? Yeah, of course, say? we are living for society also, no? It's not like whatever, uh, whatever we do, it affects others also. It shouldn't affect. Mm-hmm. So, uh, we are living for the society also. It's and, not like uh, we decide and we do it just like that. Mm-hmm. And another thing that I think, like, uh, uh, against your, this one, I do feel that teenagers actually do think a lot about that. A lot of stories that I've heard is that teenagers are very self-conscious about other people especially them they, what they think yeah what they them. think about themselves yeah their appearance yeah, yeah. appearance what mm-hmm. they like mm-hmm. but what i'm saying is like not that kind of stuff like you know things like for example we both are doing this podcast now which took a little bit of convincing from our parents mm-hmm. um and Okay, so now, but anyways, we are doing that now. Everyone's encouraging us. Yes, go. Okay, if you go, if you upload a uh, video on Instagram, for example, of dance, something like that. Okay, everyone will encourage us. And the moment the adults do it, oh, like you know, there's that whole gossip thing. Like, oh, look what she's doing. Yeah. Is this her age to do all of this? Yeah, that's yeah. true. That's true. Yeah. I hear a lot of stuff like that even go- circling, uh, circulating around my own house. Mm-hmm. And so I, I do think like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah it does happen <laughs> yeah and one more thing which i think we should address is that as a teenager you don't have a lot of um privacy especially when you don't have your own room <laughs> why do i know do, do you have your own room oh uh, no not at all um like we your have one bed. Is, yeah it, it's not with just my brother like our entire family sleeps in one room so uh I mean, it's not privacy issue. It's more like it's uh, it just has a little bit less space in my like. This, this mm-hmm. is just my uh, personal opinion that I don't have any privacy issue because I um, I'm fine with like whatever. Mm-hmm. But uh, I do just want to have a little bit of space. That's the only reason that I want my own room. Mm-hmm. I just want to decorate it and make it feel so comfy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah. No, the house. See, when the house be- becomes big, mm-hmm. even your, uh, you will be in different room, your brother will be in different room, mm-hmm. the family splits. When the house is mm-hmm. small, we are always together. They are in one bedroom, at least the sleeping time they spend together. Mm-hmm. And when they wake up, when they wake up, they all look at each other, they spend time together. Mm-hmm. When the house is small, it's like I feel we are together. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, that's a, yeah. That's another way of looking at it. That's... No, it's yeah. a mom's look. It's not like yeah, a mom, but I, even yeah. if I come out and like talk to her, she goes like, "You're always inside the room." Yeah, no, that's true. <laughs> Both of my kids, they are always in their room. When we give room, it's not like 
Only to spend time over there. They have to come out. They have to spend time with us. Yeah, but I my mom is going to be like, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> yeah, this. even my mom, like, she tells me, like, now only when you have like exams and all of that, or not, not even exams. Like now also, like, you know, I don't like to keep myself free. Like, I want to keep doing something. I can't sit free and do nothing. That that just makes me feel very annoyed. So I'm always doing something. She's like, now only I don't see you at all. You keep running here and there. If you get your room, so you'll be in your room only. I won't see you at all. But see it's mom's so point of view it's not like you're thinking about yourself only you have to think mm-hmm. no even the days and time we spend with our kids it's to a certain age mm-hmm. once they go to university you're not going to sit and spend time with them mm-hmm. they'll be busy in their studies and everything mm-hmm. so whatever moment we have now we want to spend as a family that's the reason she's saying like mm-hmm. that yeah like even for me now uh, we've become so close because we have like just just that one room thing and we've become so close that um if we do like go to the room for more than an hour or so like if we want to read or something in the room then my my mom will come over and say oh, why are you spending so much time in the room come outside and do whatever you want that's it's become like such a bond that we don't stay uh, okay. alone yeah mm-hmm. that's why even if we go to a house with like more where where we want to have like more rooms I'll always take a room with my brother even so mm-hmm. that we don't split apart too much. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. that's true. Yeah, but I'm not gonna like not spend time with my mom. I'll do that. See, anyways. no one wants, no one does it purposely, but mm-hmm. still, it happens. It happens. Yeah, yeah. Still, yeah. So everyone has their own schedule, no? So it happens. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, but back to the topic. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think puberty because. Puberty for teenagers. For teenagers it teenagers. makes it makes life a more difficult because you just get mood swings. And then you get annoyed, and then your parents get annoyed at you, and then, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's also because, like, you know, during puberty, you're going through a lot of changes, basically, right? So then again, like, the whole thing about, like, your peers and all of that, judging, blah, blah. That's a very difficult stage of life, actually. Yeah. But so, moms so still understand, no? Yeah, I'm not talking about mom. I'm not talking about parents. I'm talking about, like, in the life of a teenager. When yeah, they're yeah, going yeah. through all of that, they feel very insecure and all of that because... You know, you 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 you're gonna walk into class. Your voice is gonna be different. Yeah. You look yeah. different. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah. So I mean, many people told me that my voice has changed, but mm-hmm. I don't I don't see it at all. Mm-hmm. The only thing that I notice that's changed about me is my height. Mm-hmm. That's all I notice. <laughs> wow, nice. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, another question we want to address is that um, is that if the life of the adult is so difficult, why do like so many kids want to like grow up and become an adult and why do they envy the life of an adult so much? And the best example of this is Ruth. <laughs> Ruth. <laughs> yeah, our best friend Ruth. She is dying to become 18. 18. <laughs> 18. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Vihan, you said you had something to say. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I believe it's because like now at this point they have very little things that they can do like as teenagers like uh, as we mentioned before that they have less freedom mm-hmm. so even I have a, I really want to like uh, I I just want to hit the correct age so that I can drive because yeah. that's like yeah you can just go anywhere by yourself exactly it's just that it's, it's that not mentality possible that you can go wherever you want just like that <laughs> but like then also like, restrictions are there yeah but like you yeah, can't fine. you, you can't can learn driving it. yeah, yeah. Okay, fine. More. like you know if your parents are busy you're like can i go can i take the car yeah <laughs> and like when you when you can earn your own money then it's a lot easier you don't need to like depend on someone yeah. or something mm-hmm. yeah you can just easily like you can take your own money and if you need something you can go and take See, it when you earn on your own that time you won't spend like how you're spending now i i yeah, didn't know the value that. of money mm-hmm. so yeah. you don't spend like how you're spending now oh, when you no. start earning so that yeah. time you'll learn Teenagers now, they think that, see, we are asking certain things and parents are not allowing and a lot of restrictions are there. A uh, lot of restrictions are there. So that's the only point what teenagers have. But as an adult, you have to think. When they are saying no means that no is for certain point. No, it's not yeah. like uh, there is some reason for that. Yeah. It's for your safety and for your wellness only. It's not mm-hmm. like just like that they give permission, you do this, you do that. Like that. Even for driving, I'm saying, though you get license, mm-hmm. if it is allowed, if they give, if they permit, then you can. Then, yeah. 
Mm-hmm. A good example for this is my sister, like about the money thing. Now she's like, oh yeah, you told me this story. Yeah, she went to UK to like study, and she's like alone there. Um, and she's become very like stingy with the money and all of that. <laughs> Can you? <use. laughs> yeah, because she knows now. She knows See, the value. Yeah, she knows money. the value. She, no, no, she doesn't earn. She she's doesn't alone, earn, but, but she knows like, when she's spending, spending on her yeah, own. Yeah, yeah. She knows. Because mm-hmm. that is giving money to her and whatever expenses you want, yeah, you spend. Yeah. Even my son, mm-hmm. whatever money you give, till now he had spent only for a stationery. Apart from that, he had not spent for anything. Yeah, maybe you my sister's like that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, I do feel, like, because I I used to, like, collect some money, right? Now it kind of stopped. Like, I, I don't get it as much, but I, I collected some money. And then afterwards, I finally got to, like, open the till box that I kept it in. And then I, when I opened it, I could not, I like, I dreamed of spending like, what, all of my money on something. And then the moment that I opened it, I uh, I kept hoarding it. Mm-hmm, yeah. And then hoarding it in a wallet and uh, all that money vanished because my mom and dad took loans. Oh. <laughs> it all vanished. <laughs> okay, this is getting to another level of exposing. <laughs> when they listen to this. <laughs> Okay, this is getting too personal, but uh, okay, but just phrasing what I think Mavi would like to say is that there's a lot of misunderstanding that we have that of adult life, okay. you know, the things that, oh, I don't have to study anymore and I won't have to go to school anymore. I think those are misunderstandings. Like, even though I'm not saying that I think adult life is easier, but um, even though I think that, okay, our life has a lot of difficulties, I don't want to grow up like fast because I just see. So I like this life. Each and every uh, thing you learn, it's from your practical experience. Mm-hmm. Whereas in teenage life, it's not like that you're going to school, someone is spoon feeding yeah. you for mm-hmm. each and everything. Whereas adult life, you go to each and every place, you come up on your own mm-hmm. and you, you, you go through all the hardships, whatever is there, and you reach, you step by step, you come up. So that mm-hmm. is different. This is different. Mm-hmm. And, okay, the next and the next thing that I wanted to say is, you know, um, a lot of adults, including my parents, always say this, like, you know, enjoy your teenage life while it lasts, because once you become an adult, it won't be the same. You can't do this. You can't do that. So... Since man is the only adult over here, okay. <laughs> do you think? Do you think there's anything that you know you miss from your childhood that you can't do now, or you regret not doing in your childhood? There are so many things. It's not like one or two. I wish for like even the clothes, what we wanted to wear that time. If mm-hmm. we wear it now, it doesn't yeah. look nice. So, so that's yeah, the first yeah, yeah, yeah. thing. Okay. Yeah, that's the first thing. See, uh, your parents don't agree for all whatever kinds, different kinds of clothes mm-hmm. you wanted to wear. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm not talking about one particular family. In general, Indian community, I'm saying. Mm-hmm. So, we have a lot of restrictions for clothing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. So, whatever I wanted to wear that time, my mom said no, dad said no. Now, my husband is saying no. <laughs> <laughs> so, it's a no during teenage time also. And now also, it's a no only. So, oh, no. That's the first thing. And second thing, uh, during uh, that time, we wanted to... Uh, roam around like go in different vehicles spend time with your friends mm. all that mm-hmm. but because of our studies and other thing we don't have that much time mm-hmm. now we all are earning all my friends are earning mm-hmm. but we don't have time now mm-hmm. that time we had time but money was not there mm-hmm. and now we have enough money no time there's no, no time. time yeah that's mm-hmm. the difference between that life and this life mm-hmm. how the tables turn uh-huh <laughs> okay when i told my dad about this he was like when i was small all people everyone was so nice everyone used to just like you know like be with you like oh she's a kid he's a kid he's so cute and blah 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 and then when you grow up people become toxic <laughs> you see the true colors and then they backbite and whatnot so, yeah. not not that it's not there then as well yeah, no, but then like for a child. Yeah, you don't know. When you're a small it. child, yeah, yeah, you don't, that doesn't really affect you no that much. No one says anything negative about or bad about a child. Yeah. But whereas adult, it's not like that. True. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But like, it's there. You just can't see it. What's yeah. there? Oh, like when you're a child. But no, I think like, okay, our age, yeah, when we're teenagers, people will still say stuff. But like, mm. when you're See, like a small people child. people are always there to say, say some exactly. comments. You don't care about that. You just yeah, leave exactly. it. Yeah. Move on with your life. Yeah. <laughs> 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 
Okay, so now finally for the last segment. This is a segment we we were supposed to do every episode, but we haven't done it in so long. What? This Instagram followers thing. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now we asked our Insta followers what, according to them, is the most difficult part of adulting, and what is the most difficult part of teenage life. So basically, about their life, what's the most difficult part? So I'll read the first answer. The first answer was by a teenager, and they said peer pressure is the most difficult part of teenage life. Like they didn't elaborate on it, but I am assuming oh, okay. you know okay. they they yeah you have a lot of peer pressure. Vihan, do you expect do you experience a lot of peer pressure? Uh, so some uh, like I haven't had like I used to have like a lot of uh, like peer pressure. Um. I used to be like, I like most of my friends would tell me, uh, you have to do this or uh, or you're not uh, you're not this like um, I remember you're not cool if you don't do this yeah that's that's most mostly it's all it's all revolving around like how cool you are yeah so, that's so annoying okay but yeah continue yeah. <laughs> um I think uh, I think one of like. Uh, the most thing that I got peer pressured into mm-hmm. was uh, actually this involves games. I mm-hmm. was uh, I well I was peer pressured into playing a certain game. It was called Fortnite. I bet yeah. most people know about that. Yeah. Game. yeah. Yes. <laughs> so what happened was that everyone was talking about it. I didn't like it because I heard that people over there are pretty you know bad. But mm-hmm. um, I didn't I didn't play it until. A while later, I think it was last year. Yeah, last to last year, um, I like my brother specifically downloaded it. He told me to play it, and I, now I can't stop playing it. Aww. Addiction. Yep. Yeah. We should have an episode on that. Bad mm. habits and addiction. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and but luckily now it's kind of slowed down a little bit. Earlier I used to play it a lot. I did play it a few, but uh, over the last two days actually I. I cut down on it. Not many really different the peer game. That? I have no idea. No, the oh, so you think that your brother kind of. Uh, so first no it was my friends. friends. Yeah, first yes. my friends. Okay. Then, uh, then my brother's friends also peer pressured my brother. Then my brother peer pressured me. So Whoa! It was like a that's long a big change. Yeah. <laughs> peer pressure. Okay, close. wait. I think peer pressure reflects in even the most smallest things. Okay. For example, this is I'm not saying I don't get affected by peer pressure quite honestly because I don't care. But then like for me, for, for example, my favorite subject is maths. Okay. The moment we came into the TED Ed group and everyone's like, oh, I hate maths. I hate maths. I hate maths. If the moment you, if the moment someone says, oh, I love maths, they'll be like, huh? Are you? Is she like that nerdy kid? Yeah. yeah? Not, I did not feel that in the dead end group because everyone knows that was really nice. But like you know, I'm just saying, if you walk into a group and then get talking, like about everyone that, hates something. Would they you all say are like, oh, that, for example, okay, another thing. So everyone's like talking bad about a particular teacher, and I don't like to do that. I don't like to even yeah. listen to people. I'm like, no, bro, she's a teacher. And then if you if you don't say anything, if you or if you just go like, okay, I'm gonna walk away, they start like, oh, judging you, blah blah blah. But I I I anyways don't like fall into the trap but mm. anyways okay so do you want to read the second response maybe that came from an adult yeah okay yeah. responsibilities <laughs> yeah that, that's that's pretty that pretty much summarizes everything we spoke about responsibilities oh. of an adult mm. i don't think there's much to say for that <laughs> yeah there's not much to say because responsibility is just the word itself summarizes what's the problem mm-hmm. because people can understand like so, in, as an adult, you have the problems of responsibilities. Like you have to both feed yourself and others. Like maybe mm-hmm. if you're a part of a family, you have to feed others, and you have to yeah, like work and everything. And as a as a teenager, also you have like responsibilities. You have to go to school. You have to like um, that. So mm-hmm. you see how responsibilities are every stage, but I guess it's a different kind it just of responsibility. Increases by a notch when you. Yeah, yeah. it's a very different type of responsibilities that you get it's kind of like more serious i feel like when i grow up and i look back at my problems as a teenager i'll be like what petty problems i had that i was yeah. worrying about yeah. <laughs> okay but i think that is it for this episode so in conclusion enjoy whichever stage of life you are at because eventually you're going to experience every stage yeah true. so just so and you got life 
Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>